In this video, we'll take a quick look at the difference between cycles rendering and blender rendering. So you notice down here I have all these keyframes here in place, so that may mean to you that I was in the Blender game engine and had used set these up as individual uh, physics objects, like right here as rigid bodies, and then I had set the uh, animation feature here and recorded them to keyframes. Then I went back into Blender Render, where in Cycles Render. Actually, I do both. So what I do in this case is I have these objects, and these are all in layer one right here. And also in this same layer, if I go to this view, I have these two lights, or the only lights that are in the scene for this layer. And I have a camera and uh, empty where it's pointing to. So since I'm in Cycles Render, I can just press F12 and it'll start a rendering of that. And that was with, uh, I'm rendering it with 24 samples in this particular rendering. So not as fast, but because I wanted to do an animation test, but just to give you an idea, 24 samples right now, and I'm not using the GPU yet, is 17 seconds. So I'm just doing some comparisons. And this was the animation that it generated was like this. And it has nice glass effects, as you can tell. So it was pretty good. So if I had the GPU rendering enabled, uh, I think I knew new idea drivers, I just haven't downloaded them yet, then, uh, then it'd be pretty close to the performance of what I might get with Blender Render. So let's see what Blender Render does. So I've replicated everything. So I copied all these objects and the camera and the empty, and I put a copy of those over into layer uh, six here. And then in here I have all these individual lights set. I don't need them all, let's take some out. I just made copies, so there wasn't enough light in the scene. And I made individual materials within here. Now you notice when it comes up, it says, it acts like it wants to use the Cycles nodes. That's because I'm in Cycles Render. But if I switch over to Blender Render, I've actually specified different materials for each one of these objects like this. Some of them are have mirror effects and some a little bit of alpha and just kind of a combination to try and see what results I would get. So let's render that and see what it looks like. Well, that's not quite a Cycles rendering. No, the, the, that is, you know, it tries to do some mirroring. That's more of a mirroring effect, and that can help. So probably the best I've been able to do on this, let's look at this in this mode. Let's look at that particular, let's see, you have a look at that object right there. That had an alpha of 0.9, and that had mirroring set, so pretty high reflectivity is why we saw that. So let's try this one. Let's add change the reflectivity on that and just re-render it and see what that looks like. Well, so it gets reflective, but it's not reflective. No, you know, it, it looks okay, you know. So Cycles definitely gives you some better results, except, of course, you see this is 1.85 was the time, 1.85 seconds versus the 17 seconds to get a reasonable render within Cycles. So it shows that if you have a GPU-enabled version of Cycles, that your performance would be nearly as good as this in Blender Render, and yet your results would be much nicer. So I encourage you to use Cycles Rendering, because that's really where it's all heading, it seems to be. And then in Layer 1 in here, then the lighting, you just have to experiment with lights, and the light's really straightforward. These are both lights, that, those are lights. But probably the best way to learn about lights is to go to the bookstore and pick up a photography book, and learn all the lighting setups in photography. And then once you have that, then you'll know different ways to light the scene. That's how I learned it was, well, I had learned it through a camera store initially, but but the photography books are really of great value as well. So I just wanted to point out those few tips. And uh, okay, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next video.